working on water. It's the physical, etheric, astral, and mental. These are the different planes of reality. The ether is the either, because the ether is the substance that's on either side, astral and physical. It's the fifth element, is ether. And the fifth element is the water, the same water at the beginning of the Bible when it says, the let the firmament divide from the waters above from below. The water symbolizes the ether. It's the base of all physical matter. And the ether symbolized is, is known as the water. So when you're walking on water, you're walking on the ether, meaning you're leaving the physical body. So when Jesus walks on water and he's teaching uh, Paul to walk on water, Paul becomes scared and falls back into the water. Well, when you astral travel and you become scared when you're uh, when you're projecting, you'll fall back into your body. So he's he's pretty much saying, walking on water is leaving the body, Le uh, and uh, walking on the ether because the ether is the veil between the astral, and that's what devil means. Devil has the word veil in it because the devil is trapping you with between one one veil, which is this world. They're trapping you in this world, this thin layer of reality. Your dreams are different veils. The, the, the ether, the astral, the mental are different veils. Devil is the veil. The veil. You need to escape being stuck into what in one reality and live in between realities. And this is when you truly become a multi multi dimensional being, because your soul is just the eye. That's what you are. You're just an eye, and you see into different worlds. And it also, when Jesus means the fisher of man, the fisher of minds, he is a. Uh, there are. I truly believe, because of my research, that there is other worlds. It's not just this one. There's higher worlds. There's an infinite amount of you, and you've been in you, in them dreams. You call dreams. Yeah. Them dreams are all the realities that you are in. That's why when you're there, you don't feel like you're in a dream. You feel like it's 100% real, because it is real. So this is why the ancients always depicted the many different heads, because there's many different versions of you. And this I, the soul, the watcher, is switching itself into different bodies at all times. Well, when you sleep, when you astral project. And this is what the ancients were doing. They understood the multiverse. And they could switch bodies at will. And this is what the seven seals are in the Bible also known as the seven chakras. These are literally portals within us to these different worlds. We're in the heart at the moment. Earth rearranges spells heart, meaning middle. This is where good and evil exist. It's the middle point, the midpoint of realities. So 